All right, so let's say I wanna see when my account was created. So I'm gonna go into my Google Chrome or whatever browser I use and type api.ashcon.app slash mojang, whoops, I spelled that wrong, slash v2 slash user and then whatever name I wanna check. And you'll see here, you got the username, you can see the username history, obviously you can use NameMC to do that and it's a little bit more visually pleasing, but then if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that you have this created at, and then this is the date that the account was purchased. You can see mine was created on February 19th, 2012. Uh, so like I could see like when, sure, Notch was created, and you have January 10th, 2010. Um, so there are some restrictions to this. So let's say I look up my brother, Will Bob Bob, he's changed his username and there's no change at. So like, let's, let's go look him up on NameMC. Okay, so if you go to his profile, you'll see that he's changed his name before. So for whatever reason, you can't see it, but it works for a good portion of accounts. So only accounts that have never changed their name. And there's, an, well, there's one other restriction. So like, let's say I wanna look at Melancholy. It'll say created at null. And this is because, so if we search Melancholy, you'll see that it's an account that's never changed its name, but if we go back, you'll see that two people have had the name. So if more than one person's had the name, or if the account has changed its name, you won't be able to see when it was created. And it also doesn't work for unmigrated accounts. So like if I wanted to look at Honeydew, it's gonna say created at null because I don't know if NameMC still shows if an account's unmigrated. Oh, yeah, it does. So no one's had this name. It's never changed his name. But if you look, it's an unmigrated account. So there you go. Just a quick little tutorial for you today.